So here we are on Dreamweaver, the 1989 46 foot Nordhaven, Fort Lauderdale. So we'll do a quick walk around now. So obviously this is the foredeck and the nice uh, North Sea style wheelhouse. Um, there's the anchor windlass, just put in a new foot switch the other day. So it works very nice. All the chain was dropped out and uh, checked and uh, reamed back in, so all that's working nice and good. So walk now into the wheelhouse. So this is the uh, really nice wheelhouse here. Um, the boat up to date has been rewired about 85% I would say. All new batteries and battery cables, selector switches, the, um, the main electric panel here was completely rewired. All up and running now. As you can see by the digital gauges. Uh, there's a new 12 kilowatt northern lights in there. I can actually start it from here right now. Very very quiet in the sound box and everything. dashboard was all redone with new mica all new gauge panels made for the engines and for uh, controlling the fans and blowers and over here is a bilge pump and alarm control panel so you can turn all the pumps on manually and also um, you have if you have an alarm you can silence it while you go and fix it and then cancel it once you've sorted out the problem so here's a lovely wheelhouse, windshield wipers too are intermittent, really nice German speak windshield wipers. Here in the wheelhouse here is a captain's bunk. You can see on the paneling there has been some water damage from water leaks while the boat's been sitting. But uh, nothing too serious that can't be fixed with the new paneling. And down into the salon. Nice little table here which uh, goes up and down just like on a sailboat so if you have a cushion you can make that into a bed as well. And here's the galley area. I was in the process of putting that back together, so now it just needs a countertop and a cooktop putting in and a refrigerator putting back in or a new one. And uh, pretty much good to go after that. So the Nordhavens are really nice on the woodwork, as you can see. go down into the master cabin um, installed um, all these VMAR style light switches the Italian nice light switches and uh, nice dimming modules um, here in this locker there's a 80 amp 12 volt battery charger and in this one is a 220 volt sub panel these boats actually came in the early days as 110 only but now this is 220 110 makes it much easier when you're cruising around so down into the master cabin nice big spacious midship cabin nice big bed underneath the bed there's five 8D gel cell batteries all parallel together so it uh, makes for a big amperage capacity. And underneath um, the vanity unit here is the control panel for selecting where the house battery goes, either to inverter, up to the wheelhouse, or the anchor windlass. And then into the master bathroom. You can 
can see all in great shape. Nice big shower there too. Just need to add the toilets. Really lovely woodwork. Many, many hours gone into putting these boats together. The forward cabin here has a sliding door, pocket door. And again, lovely woodwork. So this has a double bed to the port side and then a single smaller bed on the starboard side. Again, the lights are set up on dimmers. You just hold your finger on the button, it goes brighter and it scrolls down. Stop, back on again and it ramps back up again. Under the floor here are two more 8D batteries. That's for the bow thruster. That little step there is the bow thruster motor. Again, lovely carpentry and teak work throughout the whole boat. Even simple things like this, the derayed intake. The air that comes in from outside on the foredeck, bring fresh air in. Really nicely done, you can feel the air coming now. And then forward into the bathroom. And further into there is the chain locker and storage for deck equipment. big area for storing as much stuff as you can squeeze in there. So this is facing aft and then back up to the wheelhouse. That was a refrigerator freezer built in which is past there. Really nice good size as well with holding plate. Now out around the deck. It's a great Portuguese flybridge here. If you're steaming along, you're just nice, comfy, sheltered place to be. And we carry on round at the port side and head up onto the top deck. It's a great area here. I removed that aft hatch and the steps coming up to it to create more space up here for sort of just hanging out. That's a lovely spot up here. And luckily the previous owner had added these davits. So this makes it uh, much more user friendly to have hang the dinghy off the back of here instead of having to lift the dinghy all the way up here. So this gives uh, a lot more usable uh, living space. It's also got a steadying sail. Uh, in mast roller furling and up here the plan was to put about a kilowatt of solar panels that's why everything was being removed the spotlight and everything just to give uh, some open space to mount the solar you can get about a kilowatt of panels up here so uh, loads of capacity to charge the almost 2,000 amps of batteries that are on board the boat and of course the uh, engine the John Deere 140 6414 is a keel cooled engine with a dry stack. So heading back down in the wheelhouse. Nice sliding doors, port and starboard side. Again here's the captain's bunk. Lovely cruising spot to be in here in the wheelhouse. the view from the captain's chair.